Hello and welcome to Aquinas. We're very lucky here today to be viewing a fragile ecosystem that students and teachers call home. Here Aquinas will be filming their daily rituals and their interactions. So come along, let's experience this very fragile environment. What we are witnessing here is the birth of an Aquinas student. It's such a fascinating sight. They interact with each other on this day, they sort it into their classroom, and most importantly, learn the school song. Hi, Ms. Bukovic, welcome to Aquinas. Hi, Ms. Bukovic, welcome to Aquinas. The Year 7s arrive fresh-faced, ready for any challenge that they may face. While year eight is mostly a peaceful year, that all changes when it comes to subject selection. Now, you're eight. Just like to inform you before you make your decision. So I've entered the date into Wolfram Alpha. Now I've found that we can complete these courses for exactly two years that is 24 months. That is exactly 412 days. That is exactly 9,888 hours. That is exactly 593, 280 minutes. That is exactly 35,596, 800 seconds. Now, when you make your choice, remember to take into account the teachings of St. Thomas Aquinas and reflect on this photo of our students in Timor West. Wait, is that a thumb tack? <laughs> so welcome to Woodwork. We have this, just gotten this new laser cutter. I've uh, used it about 4,000 times. Yeah, it's pretty pretty efficient, you know. Last year we had to cut it by hand, so um, yeah, it's gotten better. And yeah, go this bird. Mitch, well, I, I really don't know what to do. If I choose woodwork, I might not get houseboat. But if I if I get houseboat, I might get IPT. But I really want IPT, but I also want multimedia. I just year eight is hard. While the year eights place much importance on their decisions, asking questions like, "What is commerce? How do you take food?" They will soon later learn later in life that these decisions are rather insignificant. Now we're extremely lucky to be capturing this ranch time ritual they label a soccer tennis. It's known to get quite heated and attract quite a crowd too, especially for the teachers at home. Even Semi Perro, the big lug. Whoa, 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 okay. What about a red card rod? You know, he shows the, the character, the determination. You know, the, I used to say, say to him in year 10, from my favourite poem Invictus, you are the captain of your own ship, you are the master of your own fate. While some may consider lunchtime gathering to be illegitimate, it's truly intriguing to see this thing. The year 10 formal is most certainly an exciting time, but unfortunately, many rivalries do groom. <gasps> oh my god, Tegan and Steph got the same dress. <gasps> oh my god, it's mine. I bought it first. I bought it first. 
at first. While this is a very strenuous time of year, it's quite well known that the formal is a symbol of unification for the whole year group. Returning from six weeks of hibernation, the flock can be seen parading around in their white shirts as a symbol of superiority. But no status symbol is as significant as the attainment of a provisional license. With this great attainment comes absolute great responsibility. I'll race you, right? Yeah. Alright, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. You need a driving permit, are you a passenger? Or a driver? Appears they have made a quick getaway. They can run, but they can't hide from Mr. Lillis. Now, the only year group we haven't witnessed yet is the wonderful year 12. They're quite elusive in their nature. They're often hiding in the most peculiar places because of their fears of the HSC. But now we're going to find them.